Hey, what's going on, Ogopogo? Back and hold your own. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me. Do appreciate it. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. So listen, I uh, recorded an episode where, remember we got that information from, I believe it was Cynthia, the trader, about uh, a crashed helicopter over on Oraculo. <clears throat> And she said that it was in a dried up riverbed, which ended up being uh, over by this rock or this rock, one of the two. I found it buried in the sand. It was just barely sticking up, but I found it. I took the goods together or with me the, to repair it. It was like 10 titanium sheets, 10 aluminum sheets. And something else, I forget what exactly it was. However, <clears throat> when I recorded that episode, I had, this was on uh, this past, last Tuesday. I had something take place. I upgraded my video card driver and all my games, the resolution was all thrown out of whack in OBS for some reason. And I experienced it a couple times on the stream with subsistence. And uh, so I recorded the entire episode and... When I went to edit it, all you could see was like about a quarter of the screen. And uh, and I didn't notice it when I was recording. I didn't notice it until we were uh, in the in the edit software in DaVinci. So I apologize for that. So I ended up scrapping it because, I mean, you just couldn't see Jack. Uh, well, Jack wasn't involved with it, but you couldn't see anything. And uh, it was unfortunate because it was a great episode. We went over to Orculo. We looked around. We hunted down that, that helicopter. We we salvaged it. And that gave us the body. And all we had to do was go to my brother and get the engine. And there it is. We had it made. And it was kind of funny because I was trying to figure out how to fly it and land it and stuff. And I kept missing the helipad and stuff like that but anyways i apologize for that it kind of sucks that we lost that footage but it was just too uh i wasn't going to put you through any amount of time watching that garbage i i just i just didn't happen to notice i mean my you know your obs is set up shouldn't be uh touched or altered or whatever but sometimes with the Video card settings, I guess it does because uh, all my games seem to have been affected. I had to readjust them in OBS, which is unfortunate. So anyways, we've been hammering away off camera and getting a bunch of mining and stuff done. And one of the other things that I looked at over at Oraculo was <clears throat> the Forgotten Cave was one of the places in the quest that uh yeah we found i uh, went to the lighthouse we went to the boat and we found a crate in there that had a bunch of resources towards this turbine repair and there's a forgotten cave on oroculo now i went all over the place and couldn't find it but karen sent me a screenshot of where he had found it <clears throat> and we're gonna head over there i think before we go and repair these turbines because I'd like to try to find this stuff. We got all the stuff to repair the turbines. But we'll go over there before we start repairing everything and check it out. We'll take a whip over there in the helicopter. So let's do that. It's miserable weather to be flying in a helicopter, but we'll go for it. So for this quest for repairing the turbines... There's six, repair, or six turbines to repair and you need total of eight of aluminum plate steel plate titanium plate and 40 screws so 48 plates in total uh, 48 of each i mean and um 240 screws and we've got all of that we've got 48 titanium 48 aluminum 48 steel and we got our 240 screws we're gonna fly over before we do the quest to, to repair the turbines. Oh, actually, I wanna store this stuff on the helicopter for now. What a cool thing, this helicopter though. Makes a huge difference travel time wise. Now the fuel is expensive as hell. We got 36 minutes. That's all I've been able to muster up and that's all my fuel for vehicles and everything. So we're gonna have to uh, 
do a bunch of mining over on Desperasso so we can get some more oil shale and keep hitting up the towns with the gas pumps and the and the uh, insurgents and stuff like that. But uh, fuel, aviation fuel <clears throat> takes 10 uh, containers of gas and a magnesium catalyst, which you refine out of your magnesium ore and a salt. And it gives you five and it only fills up a total of five. You get five minutes per per bundle. So 36 minutes is all we've got. Well, we're going to head over to Oraculo first. Let's uh, set a. You know what? We'll fly over to the car and then we'll drive the car up to uh, this cave. It's somewhere up in here. Uh, according to the screenshot he sent me so let's do that all right so let's hop in fire this baby up let's head over to oraculo first this thing is super cool i absolutely love this And you can just roar through the, uh, it's way quicker than the boat, man. Way quicker than the boat. Now we could increase the speed on this thing too. I think adding those, uh, boosters like we did with the boat. That would save quite a bit on fuel. Yeah, it's a little difficult to see what the hell's going on here, but we shouldn't be too far away. Man, this is so much quicker. I'm absolutely loving this. Very cool. We'll try a couple of those uh, speed boosts too. But the thing is, it's going to be the killer is keeping this thing in fuel. We're going to have to do quite a bit of mining. Maybe off camera, I'll do just a... Uh... Oh, you know what we forgot is our ball crusher jeans. Or ball crusher shorts, I mean, sorry. All right. Let's start uh, descending here. We'll just park the helicopter just over here. Little rough landing. Let's shut that baby off. That stuff will be okay because we don't need it just yet. We're going to grab the car. I think I put it in the garage here, actually. We're going to get a weapon out. There it is. Do we have any fuel in here? No. But I got 28 minutes on here. Did I put my... Uh put the shorts in here or are they in the boat we're gonna have to get that stuff out of the boat and put them in the vehicles on the islands that we need like I uh, think in the vehicle I went up a couple times to get some titanium over on uh, where is it Congeletta up in the mountains there and I had to take my warm gear and I think I left it in the vehicle there. So we'll have to do the same with the ball crusher shorts. Bring it over here and just leave it in the car here. I think that's probably the best bet because I keep forgetting them all the time. All right, let's just whip up here quick. I think we can only get up so far and then we'll have to go on foot. But yeah, I looked all over the place for this goddamn forgotten cave. But apparently it's pretty tough to find. I think Karan said he even had a difficult time finding it. And then he just finally came across it. I saw, you know, a couple of the, or in the Discord, I think, in the uh, Hold Your Own Discord. A couple were saying that when it's raining, sometimes the uh, opening to the cave you can spot. Let's have a quick peek here. Where are we? We're almost there, actually. Might have to, I think this might be it right here. Let's go up as high as we can. 
You might even be able to drive all the way up there, to be honest with you. Oh, hit a rock. Didn't even see it. I was looking over the other way there. Kind of head this way. Oh, man. Ogo, you're just killing your car, man. I wonder if nobody wants to insure you. I'm going to head right for that little dark spot. I'm kind of thinking that might be it. I appreciated uh, Ron sending me that. I gave up, and that's why we added everything already, actually. You know what? I'm going to get out on foot here. All right. I just looked at that screenshot he sent me again. I think I went too far over and up. So we've got to go down again. I think we can get down this way now. So killing ourselves. I think this might be it right here. This might be it right here. Let's go see. There's oh, there's some cobalt and stuff in here too. Good, good, good. Because I could use some more, not necessarily cobalt, but if there's some iron or some oil shale in here, we'll get what we can. More cobalt down there. Might as well grab it. Comes in good for that cobalt alloy. Because I want to make some more uh, turbines for ourselves. So we're going to need all this stuff again anyway. So I'm going to have to do a bunch of mining off camera, I think. Let's see if we can get up here. There we go. Now, let me just check this out here, actually. I want to go back out front here. Yeah, this has got to be it. The screenshot he sent me had some uh, boulders or something in front of it, but this has got to be it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just keep going. We'll look through this place and see. Pretty sure uh, there's another cobalt over there. We'll grab that. I like this. I go through this side. I just stick to my right and just follow it around. And grab everything. Now we got to kind of keep our eyes open because there's going to be, uh, I'm assuming a crate of some kind in here. Now this one isn't marked on the map at all. This cave, there's some coal there. Ah, uh, you know what? We should probably grab it because it does come in handy for extra fuel. Spiders, I just haven't been worrying about lately. We'll have to do a good run and grab a bunch more, but I still got a whack of them at the base. Both bases, I think. Desperoso as well. Or Desespero. I don't know why they're called Desperoso. I'm thinking Desperado. Don't sing, Ogo. Please. All right. Here's some... Uh, it's oh lots of aluminum good i'll go through and clean this cave out and uh if i come across something interesting i'll bring you back in all right oh hey here we go here's a crate nice shit look at that okay well that's good though it's we got extra that's gonna help us out with our own I did take it, right? Yeah. It's going to help us out with uh, getting ourselves another wind turbine or two put up. So that's good. We got it anyway. So thanks, Corrent. Appreciate that, brother. I would have never found this place if you didn't tell me. <clears throat> we'll get this. I'll go through and finish cleaning out this cave while I'm here. Hopefully find some oil shale. But we may have to go back to uh, Desperoso there. and Desespero. Fuck. And get some oil shale. Now that I got the helicopter, I can whip over there pretty goddamn fast. All right. I think that's it. For this cave. That's awesome, though. That was a good haul. 
And my car, where the hell is that at? Over here somewhere. There it is. All right. Well, let's get back to the helicopter. And we'll try to, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was damn close, man. That would have sucked having to run back and recall it back to the gas station. Or the garage, I mean. I didn't even know that little lake was there. The pond. So we'll get in the helicopter and we'll go try to find some of these guys. Holy crap. Soft dirt. Park this back in here. We, uh, no gas cans over here to check out, eh? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh, there's a pump here. Nothing in there. Okay. Let's head back to the copter. Figure out where we're going to be heading here. All right, so there's one on Triesio and one on Kobe Island, and we gotta. So we'll go up that way first, because <clears throat> they're both uh, right there. Then there's two on Desespero, and two on Dos Mortos as well. So let's head up to this region here. We'll fly around Triesio. Kobe Island shouldn't be that uh, difficult to find. But we'll go up there and do these ones and then see how we're sitting on fuel before we uh, get too carried away. I think we just want to kind of go uh, maybe more that way. Just kind of fly low. This sure is fun, man. All right. Here's Triesio. It, it gave, like, Stan gave us the instructions, you know, on the routes I-66, I-77. I know I-77's on Dos Mortos. I think our I-66 is on... You know what? We should probably get down a little bit here. So we can see what the hell is going on. But I think what we should do is maybe follow all of the uh, the highways, the main roads, because those are the uh, Just got to keep our eyes open for some turbines. And now the ones that aren't spinning, obviously, are the ones that are broken, so. A little bit, uh... Maybe a little more difficult than I thought. And where would the turbines be? You'd think they'd be up high, eh? But maybe not. Might be a little harder to spot than I thought. <clears throat> Let's go up this way and check it out. 
just don't want to kill all our fuel off just is that turbines no that's a lighthouse Let's uh, try to get down just a little bit lower here. Help us spot them, maybe. Okay, so it could be, uh, one of the instructions Stan gave us was, uh, a down a dirt road opposite a fishing village along route R10. I'm just not seeing the... Uh... Ah, uh, here's some turbines right here. There we go. Let's see if we can land right here. Yeah, there's one that isn't spinning there, so this is definitely it. Let's try not to uh, hack this up. Now, I'm sure we're probably going to get some resistance while we're trying to repair these things. Yeah, here we are. I'm hearing a gun. You guys, I heard that. You know what? You, have you guys been playing lately and whenever you start the game, you get that gunfire? I'm noticing later in the game, it's happening later in the game now and it's scaring the living crap out of me. Now, when I was mining, I came out of the mines and I got attacked by uh, one of the, one of the, that's not what I want to do. One of the boy band guys. Let's take all this with us. And I should have kept it on the helicopter if we get killed. At least we can recall it. So we need eight of these guys. wonder if it takes all of them. You know what? I'm not going to chance it. Let's just go eight. I just want to know if I could put a stack in there, if it would just, uh, you know what I mean? Why didn't I just take three off of that stack? Three of those, or eight of those, and eight of these guys. And 40 screws, correct? Let's just take half of this, and then we'll just take six of those off. There we go. That one's done. Now let's go to Kobe Island. That one should be pretty easy to find, I think. I mean, for all intents and purposes, we could just leave the helicopter running for the few seconds it's going to take for uh, to repair it, but I just don't want to burn all the fuel up. As long as we can get this done, then I can do a bunch of off-camera and get some fuel made up. Let's head over to Kobe here. It's on the tip, it said, so it's on one of the two ends, obviously. I'm thinking. Oh, I think I... Oh, that's the radio tower. Yeah, a couple speed, in, or speed increases on this would really be cool, too. It would save a lot on fuel, so I think we'll invest in that. Let's go down just a bit. There they are right there. Awesome. Can we land like in the trees without screwing up the helicopter? Let's try it out. Yeah, the one in the center. Yeah, I guess we can. Okay, let's just hop out real quick. Where are they? There they are. That one's spinning, so it's the center one. 
You know what? I'm going to try something here. Let's save the game. Let's just put in 25 of those. 100 of those. 25 of those, 25 of those. No, you got to put in the right amount. Okay. I don't know why I pulled them all out, but anyways. There's seven. And eight. Six. Oh, wait a second. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I should have had these pre-split into uh, bundles. What am I doing? Throw those guys in. That one's done. All right. So we got two on Decespero. Decespero, hey? Where the hell's my copter at? Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it hidden in behind the trees here. <laughs> Let's get up. And this has got to be, yeah, Decespero over here. All right. So south past the bridge. Let's see if we can get a little bit more height here. Ah, right here. Which one isn't moving? That one right there. Okay, perfect. You know what? I'm going to leave that run again here. All right. So it just won't repair it if you just throw stacks in. You got to have the correct amount. So we got our eight steel, eight aluminum, eight titanium, and our 40 screws. That one's done. This isn't so bad. I'm burning a lot of fuel. I should just turn it on and off, but this seems like it uh, takes forever. All right. Now we got to try to find these other ones here. a fine route R8 route R8 it's just off of I-66 that would be the other one that we need to find I probably flew right past the goddamn things not seeing them down there now we are uh, burning up some fuel here but I think we should have enough to finish this project. Uh, there we go. I think we can land right here. That one's not spinning. Okay, cool. We found it. 
<clears throat> now we just got to find the couple on Dos Mortos. You know what this is going to mean, though, too? This helicopter is going to be huge. Well, kind of landed uh, kind of cockeyed here. You know what? I'm going to shut it off just for now. But it's going to come in handy for these guys when they get you bouncing back and forth. It shouldn't take long to whip over to another island to go see Stan or Jack or whatever they want, you know? So let's just split that in half. Let's take one off of that. And we need four off of this one. So let's go with eight of those, eight of those, eight of those. And we'll split that in half and just take 10 back. There we go. That one's done. I haven't got any resistance yet, so I'm wondering if we're going to get some when we fix the last one. Is probably going to be it over on Dos Mortos. Now, there's some up by the church, and I think I remember where those ones are. I've driven past them a few times. Over on Dos Mortos. On the big island of Dos Mortos. Ah, look at that. We can see our house from here. How cool is that? I do remember seeing uh, some wind turbines early in the game when we were running down I-77 towards that big, t big town or the big village over there. We'll see if we can figure it out. You know what? We haven't really investigated this part of the island. We should really come down and spend some time here. I see some wind turbines here. It's definitely going to be those ones. And it's the second one from the end here that's not turning. Oh, I guess you can't land right on the trees. You know what? I'm going to land right on the road here. It's kind of ah. Uh, Tricky to get the hang of at first. It's not too bad. It's pretty easy. Let's just leave that running for now. Burn the fuel up, I guess. <laughs> it's expensive as hell, and I'm just whipping through it. Let's get eight of those guys. Four. And eight of those. Twenty. Thirty-three. That one's done. All right. <clears throat> now the last one. And on the northern end of I-77. So let's just keep following I-77. <clears throat> Which is this guy here. Uh, it's going to make life so much easier, hey? Wish we had gone for this a lot sooner. That's all right. We got it now. <clears throat> so I think we'll get this one done. We'll see what the uh, urgency of the next one is. But I think we'll uh, spend some time and go around and fix up all our bases on the islands here. With some of the new parts. I'll make up a bunch of them off camera. And I'm going to do a bunch of uh, grinding as well. For some... Because uh, we need to have fuel for this thing if we're going to keep roaring around in it. Just dawned on me that maybe uh, one of these... 
where we went up here up by our base yeah it's that last one here that's good nice and close all right let's go fix this guy Got it all shaved up here. Let's throw this stuff in. This should be the last one. There we go. Completed the quest. Let's get back home. I'm not going to stand here reading it with the fuel burning here. Let's get back home. This was right over by our base. So we were right... Uh, I stood over at, this, over at the hill here. I, I was hovering above it, looking, watching the propeller. And then it dawned on me. Oh shit, that was the one we put up there. Let's get down a little bit here. I have a difficult time landing on this helipad. It takes a little bit of practice. There, that's not too bad. And let's shut that baby off. There we go. That's probably my best park job so far here. We got everything out of there? Good. So let's take a quick look here. What do we need for this one? We need 20 aluminum, so we just got to make seven. 25 of those, we need eight. And 10 of those got enough of that. And screws, we need some more screws. So I'll do some more grinding. We'll get a couple sets of this made up so we can make ourselves a couple more wind turbines to put up there because we're only bringing in with that one turbine. Um, We're bringing in 350. And so you can't have too much running at one time. So we've got to keep building those up. Anyways, let's take a look and see what's going on. Go back and speak to Stan at the coffee shop. You know what? We probably got enough fuel. Let's run over there quick and just go see what he wants. You shouldn't take long at all. Now it only takes like a couple minutes to go over and see these guys. This is way better. So I think what I'll do, we'll go see Stan, see what he wants. I'm going to uh, hit the two mines on Decespero here. And then it should hit midnight and I should be able to hit them like twice. So... You know what? We got a, like a built-in helipad like right here. This is awesome. All right. Oh, she tipped over. I forgot to shut it off. There we go. Uh-oh, what happened? Why won't it turn off? Oh, it wasn't landed properly, I guess. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I won't make it to the mine in time for midnight. Ah, shit, it's... There we go. Yeah, it can be a little finicky trying to figure that out. Well, I'm getting better at it. Let's go see Stan here and see what he has to say. I'm sure it's going to be some bad news. It's always bad news with Stan. Well, he self but he admitted that, too. I want to hit this pump up real quick. I don't think we've hit that for a while. Ah, cool. Four. Got to keep getting that fuel in here. I'm going to have to go around and do a bunch of um, insurgent hunting too. Stan, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Uh-oh, he's got that look on his face again. Oh, now it's just high. See, every time that you do something for him, it just keeps getting worse. Pretty soon he'll be calling us an asshole. 
I received some intel from an old friend of mine about the malicious stockpiling supplies in an abandoned industrial area on Congeletta. Okay. That's okay. We got to go for some uh, titanium anyways. From what I was told, gun supplies, ammo, and many other resources are being kept there. If you could get those supplies in our possession, it would greatly assist us. Keep your eyes open. It's probably well defended, obviously. All right, cool. Stan, we'll do that. We are going to head over there because I want to get some titanium anyway. So what I'll do is I'll hit these mines up here. How much fuel do I got in the car? In the car? Yeah, I'll just take the car up there. I'll hit these mines up here a couple times. And next episode, we'll head up to Congeletta and get some titanium and we'll pick up resources uh, and also we'll grab some titanium and stuff while we're up there. All right. So we got that done. I've got the helicopter. I'm really happy about that. We're going to do some work around these bases. Actually, you know what? We might even do that next episode. Just depends what I can get done off camera as far as grinding goes. But we've got a whole pile of the new pieces, the glass pieces and stuff. And I'd like to rebuild this place at least to get started with. And we'll make ourselves maybe a helipad here too, but... I think we're we're pretty safe just landing somewhere out here for the time being. All right, guys. Thank you very much for taking time to come and hang out with me. Do appreciate it. As always, just be safe. Look after each other. Have a fantastic rest of the weekend. We'll see you on the next episode. Take it easy.